Hello, I'm Tanmay, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore, India. Today, I'm going to show you how to subscribe to backend database updates which are not performed through AWS AppSync mutations. Let's get started. Let's create a sample AWS AppSync endpoint with DynamoDB data source that stores ID and title fields with the help of the wizard offered by the AWS AppSync console. Then we will test out the direct database changes. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the AWS AppSync console. Then choose Create API. Here you can see different options to create an API. Choose Create with Wizard and choose Start. The wizard will help you procure DynamoDB resource, schema with query, mutation and subscription. Wait until it finishes. Please note this might take a moment. Let's test out a mutation and subscription. Open a duplicate tab and then create on create my model type subscription. Here I will be typing a subscription on create my model type. Now run the subscription. As you can see it is subscribed to the mutation. Now execute the mutation, create my model type from the previous browser tab. You will notice that the subscription on the other tab received the mutation body. This is my mutation create my model type. I am running it. You can see I received a hello world title in the mutation. Let's go to other browser tab and here as you can see I also received the same data. Let's now add a record to data source directly through DynamoDB console. We will see that the subscription didn't receive the update. Data sources. This is my DynamoDB table. I will click on it. Now let's add an item here. Now I save the change. The item is added to the database. But as you can see this in the subscription tab, we do not see the same data reflected here. Now let's consider a use case where the DynamoDB write permission is revoked from the AWS AppSync role. The role can be located under data source tab and the mutation is removed from the schema. Let's go to data sources. This is the DynamoDB table. I click on edit to see the role associated. To get the subscription for direct DynamoDB updates, we must create a none type data source. Let's do that. Data sources, create data source, give any favorable name, choose the source type as none and click on create. We will now create a mutation add my model type that will pass on the database updates to the none data source. The none data source passes on the request mapping template to response mapping template directly. Schema, let's add the none data source. We now added add my model type. We'll also subscribe the subscription to the same mutation. Add my model type. Now we are going to save the schema. Let's add the resolver.
let's save the resolver it's saved now we'll also edit the subscription on create my model type to subscribe to add my model type run the subscription again this is the subscription that we are going to run again as you can see it is now subscribed to the mutation thus whenever we make a direct database updates we also perform the same through add my model type which will then trigger the subscription message in this way we can notify the client of direct database updates though the AWS AppSync endpoint doesn't have write access over the database. As you can see, we ran a mutation and we got a new update. Let's see on the subscription side. New update, ID5. It's the same data. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.